and it can record this, so thank God. So, hey, welcome to Goldeneye. Oh, wait, is this on? Yes. I screen shared it. Oh, I just didn't realize Fraps was running. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, um, uh, if anyone wants to know how I got Fraps, don't ask. It was completely legal. Honest. Completely legal? I bought it myself? Okay, I'm lying. <laughs> <clears throat> no, you're not. You're sitting down. In all likelihood, I can't see you, but I'm assuming you're sitting. I'm sitting, yes. Boris Grishenko, XKGB, oh god. Now you can clearly see how well graphics have, you know, moved on from, like, the old era of video games. No offense, you might be able to, but for some reason I can't. It's, uh, the whole screen seems to have frozen for some reason. Oh. God damn it. Sorry. Frigging Skype! Alright. So uh, I think we broke the internet. Adam, I told you to stop breaking the internet. But no! I can't help us. I know. I'm kidding. Okay, we're Just gonna... blame shitty internet connections in this country. The fucking shite. Well, also, it has to go, like, across the Atlantic. So, that also is good screw. Well, that makes sense. But come on, the internet. Come on. Alright, so that mission. Alright, so basically, what we did earlier, we originally made, like, um,. We originally did a version of this where we um, we actually did the first two levels, but um, I, matching up uh, everything went. Yeah, the the uh, original recorder I used for it um, made it look really really laggy. So um, Adam legitly sent me sky um, fraps. So hopefully we get a better <coughs> hopefully we get a better thing out of it. Well, it can record audio and video at the same time, so you shouldn't even have to do much editing other than I, stick I, it into Windows Movie Maker. Yeah. Thank God for Windows Movie just Maker. A Thank God for it. Just one warning. Does your computer have much hard drive space? Um, it's got a pretty good chunk. Okay. It's just because perhaps I don't know what it'd be like with an emulator, but... With some things, perhaps it tends to take up a metric frick ton of space. Yeah. The video files it records. I, d um, I, I started doing my uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, Let's Play last night. And, uh, actually, oh, goody. Yeah, I'm uploading it to YouTube right now. And oh, I, I brilliant. Had to, I had to do it like four times in a row, purely because I kept, um, basically you know what happened with you, that the game would crash um, when during the loading between planets. Oh yeah, you have to cut it. But yeah, you have to cut the recording between planets. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that happened to me four times, and like the set, the like the second and third times, I had a fleet within two moves of Hoth. Two moves, and it crashed. Yeah. So basically, the fourth time, I have a planet like two moves away from Hoth, like two spaces. I'm thinking I'm gonna make a fleet there, and. Um, and I'm just gonna, you know, take their base planet just to screw with them. And be like, LOL! And then you know what you can say when you- Oh, sorry. Uh, no, you got- I'm, I'm finished making my point. Oh no, I was just gonna say, you know what you can say when you take off? All your base are belong to us. Yes! Internet memes. But I also stole your uh, grenade joke, if you don't mind. Grenades! Why would grenades. I care? Sure, my- half my stuff- my- my intro was stolen from a dude called Vengeful KBM. That uh, die line is stolen from a KB from Variax. I steal it. I steal stuff. Everybody does it. So technically, I'm stealing something from a stealer. Awesome. Pretty much. So that means we we thieves need to stick together. All right, we just got that guy. I'm gonna go up here so I can get that sniper rifle. That sniper rifle. <laughs> I like the way you think. Like I'm... Nothing says love like the bullet to the face. It's like I love or a bullet you. in the. I love you. Oh God! Headshot, bitch! You just got owned. Yes, he did. All right, come on, come on, come on. Waiting for you. Dun dun dun. 
Okay, we're gonna basically be playing on easy because if we play on medium or hard, we're gonna die many times because I'm not very good at first person shooters. I'm good at Star Wars uh, too, yeah. but I'm not good at this. I feel your pain. Lols. No. Seriously, my friend and myself, we actually used to, we, he brought, like I was at his house, we play Call of Duty together. Uh, the Spec Ops missions, just special operations. Yeah. I actually remember throwing a mission. Killing us all. We were supposed to be freeing a rebel prisoner. I managed to shoot the prisoner by mistake, thinking it was the enemy. Really? And I never said I was smart. Uh, well, I mean, I'm... It's just... Battlefront, I've been playing since, my, like, I was a kid. Ah, uh, And now same. they're gonna be making Battlefront 3, and I'm really happy about that. Yeah, is that is that confirmed, is it? I'd heard rumors now, but I didn't know whether it was... I don't know if it's confirmed either. I just... I've heard rumors as well. I want it to be confirmed, because then that would just be that off. That would just be so awesome. But... Ah, oh, it's long overdue. Yeah, it's I, I think it's so long overdue, it's not even... It's so long overdue, it makes Mirror's Edge 2 look like a joke. Damn! Oh, they did release two. Um, they did release two things though on the PSP: uh, Star Wars Battlefront Renegade Squadron and Elite Squadron. Elite Squadron was actually brilliant because you could actually it combined space and land battles. In other words, you could fly a ship from space onto land if you wanted to. Oh, that's cool. I might, I might, you know, try to pick that. Is that on Steam? Uh, it was for the PSP only. Although you might be able to get it on an emulator. Yeah, you know, since you're into those things. Yeah, I, I think they do have a PSP emulator. I think they do too, actually, although the one I got, I could never get working. But, yeah, a friend of mine, I think, was able to get them running. So, I'd say you'd be able to. Yeah. I mean, it's So, just... whereabouts do you now, as a matter of interest? Hmm? You far on the level? It's just all I can, like, can't actually see anything. It's just... Yeah, um, I basically just, I just, Lag. I think I've gotten to, like, almost the actual damn part. Uh, wow, already? Uh, Jeez, we were only getting through the first part last time. Sorry. Yeah, well, we, basically, we're just kind of talking our way through it. We're not really, you know. Ah, uh, what just happened? Okay. The only thing I hate about this th game is that the fire button is like right next to the start key. So Ooh. Pretty much. What the? What? Okay, game. Game clipping this way. No. Basically, I, I, I actually did some testing. Fraps can work on my GameCube emulator. This, um, mm -hmm. this emulator, and that's it. And, uh, basically. Yeah. Yeah, Fraps is awkward with emulators because I tried to. I just I downloaded a Yu Gi an M A you know um what is it a DS emulator just to run a Yu Gi an old Yu Gi Oh game on it because my cartridge was basically buggered. But uh, I tried Fraps on it, it just wouldn't work. It didn't register. Yeah, it's weird how emulators work. I mean, I can honestly I can make this th um this game go f super full screen, like um mm -hmm. I can press the escape key. And it'll go full screen for me, but I mean, it's it's besides that, it's just yeah, awkward. Yeah, it's I mean it's windowed, and I freaking hate that key. Freaking start key, damn you! Yeah, jeez, it, it's I got the original Tomb Raider on Steam actually for my dad. It's just something he used to play when he got a PlayStation. But, um, the awkward thing was the fire key tends to be right next to the Windows key, which would actually close the game down and crash it, which was a bitch. And he probably was like, ah, oh, damn it. Actually, he hasn't touched it in about two weeks, which is a shame, although it only cost me, what, two euro? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, two euro to us is like five bucks. 
But I think the nice thing about though with the Steam sales is they tend to make it equal, you know, regardless of uh, currency differences. Yeah. So if it's two euro, say over here, it'd be two pounds in the UK and two dollars in America, even if the currency value is totally different. Yeah, so you know, everyone's like, oh man, you know, it costs so much over here, and it's like only five bucks over there. Yeah. I mean, about I wanted, that. I actually, I wanted to get Skyrim, and I bought like a twenty buck card. But it was, Skyrim oh, was like 40 right. bucks, and I was like, damn it! So close. Yeah, the thing is, it's true actually. It, it, even though Steam, it does tend to have good bargains, the prices tend to be very inflexible at times. They don't change very much. Yeah. But honest to God, I Skyrim's love, a lot of fun though, if you ever bought it. I, know, I love Steam, I mean, just because I get to play, you know, Battlefront 2 again without having to. I mean, the PS2 emulator I got never worked. So, I mean, and I don't want to go out and buy a PS2 just to play one game, and a memory card and a controller just to play one game. Yeah. So I can understand that. It's. Because I'm lazy like that. Ah, actually, that cool. That's sensible. Yeah. I mean, ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. Or the money for that. Well, I mean, I, I think I probably have the money for it. It's just, I'm like, uh. It'd be hard just tracking down all the stuff because you no know, GameStop actually is stopping. They don't um do uh they they're not going to be doing PS2 games anymore. I believe that. Yeah, wouldn't be profitable, I'd say. Yeah, because you know it's like so much out of uh it hasn't vogue. Yeah, I mean everyone's got a PS3 now. No one has like I mean some people probably do have the old systems, but. They just, no. They have them just so they can play the old games. Well, I think, I think you'd be right there. I yeah. mean, if you have, if you've ever, if it seems if whenever on the internet, you've always got people saying, hey, look what I found in my, mo in my mom's basement. Picture of an N64 or something. And I'm like, how the, how the hell do you still have that? Didn't your mom sell it in a garage sale or something? No, she lost it. That's what happened to it. Ah, uh, uh, oh, oh, good kill, sir. Oh, is, uh, is it catching up to, ne to you now? Yeah, I can actually see it now. It seems to be moving. Yes. Is it smooth on your end? Is it just yeah, you know from a you good. know as far as yeah, it's actually doing pretty well on my end. Yeah, it's just because I remember you, you know last time didn't we have the whole lag issue? Yeah, that was but that was with a different uh, recorder. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh. No, my new favorite thing to say when I... My new favorite thing to say when I reload, and, like, and it's a really bad situation for reloading, this is a fucking e time for a reload! <laughs> I like it, I'm stealing that one. Uh, I'll let you, man. Because, you, you know... Oh, good shot. This thing is like silence, but wouldn't you think that the guy would see his- that guy right there would have seen his buddy just drop to the floor? Ah, uh, that's a- that's a classic, that is. In, a, in any stealth game. You can club people to death and drag them off, but nobody seems to notice. I was like, hmm, must have been nothing. Shit. Or, classic one, Skyrim. Shoot somebody in the head with an arrow, it doesn't kill them immediately. What was that? They start looking around, they can't find you. Oh. Must have been Zavind, even though you shot him in the fucking head. I, that's why you shoot him in the knee. It's a one-hit kill. Hey! Arrow to the knee jokes. They might be old, but I'm still using them. Quit shooting me. Thank you. Just drop to the floor dead, and no harm will come to you. Well, <laughs> that's like saying, don't worry, you'll wake up dead. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just die. Yay! Charge! Oh, he's just blew up a computer because YOLO. Okay, I'm never gonna well. say that. never say that again, ever. I'm sorry. Or well, computers always crash. Must have been a Windows one. Hmm. But still, you know, swag is actually a tent in New Zealand. So actually, a portable tent is called a swag. Oh, that's cool. 
So, you know, I got a swag. I got swag, guys. And people are like, you dirty Burn swag him. bag. I'm just saying I have a tent. Jesus. Oh. Oh, that's okay. It's okay for you to say it now. It's like that classic one. It's like there's a there's a joke over here. Never go into never an Irishman should never go to America, and ask and say and ask his friends and tell his friends they're gonna have some crack. Crack in Ireland is fun. Crack in America is an illegal drug that will get you arrested. Yeah, I say, hey officer, you know where to get some crack? I need you to come to the station with me. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so we're gonna jump in one, two. Don't do us. Do a flip! Too bad you can't look down while doing this, because then it'd be like, Oh, look, there's the guy! Oh, my neck! Which reminds me, in Mirror's Edge, if you, like, miss a jump from building to building, you will honestly watch yeah. yourself- you, The camera stays on as you watch yourself fall, and then you hear a crack, and then you respawn. Me. Ow! Jesus! I actually That went. sounds like a new Tomb Raider game. I actually do wince when that happens. I'm like, oh, that's, oh, oh. You know, it's like, I, did you see um, you know, the uh, the new Les Miserables film in the in the the cinema? Uh, no. Well, you know the part he Javert spoilers jumps off the bridge and kills himself. I've seen it, yeah. Well, we were. I was in the film with a couple of friends watching us. He threw himself off the building. Was falling. He hit the weir. There was this huge crack, and I think the whole cinema just cringed, and you heard it all around the place. Oh! Yeah, I, mean, I watched the uh, um, this version that uh, of Les Mis in my uh, English class, uh, and we're actually going to move on to the next. I'm thinking we could probably do the next mission just because. Yeah, sure. We're doing we're doing okay for time. Yeah. So I mean, so pretty much we're. Um, in my English class, we're doing this version of Les Mis that has um, Liam Nielsen in it. And it's funny because in oh it, yeah, in it he um like does like some spec like a spec ops move on the friggin' bishop, and I'm like, see, he told you not to take his daughter. I said that out out loud, and everyone in the class is just like, lols. I told, I told, he told you not to take. I his salute daughter. you, sir. He told you not to take his daughter. <laughs> But no! Did you listen? You know what my favorite tar part of the entire Star Wars pro um, my least favorite part of the entire entire pre prequel trilogy of Star Wars is? Are you an angel? No. I mean, I I, I hate that. Okay, part. go on. My least favorite part is um, Qui Gon Jinn dying dying because I'm like, he's like. This is Liam Neeson. He's like the best part of this entire thing. Yeah, Liam Neeson was great actually in the role. Yeah, but the, it, I still still don't think the uh, pre the prequel. I mean, it, if they had done it a bit better, I think it could have been made really well. I actually think they were okay. Although I, I'll admit, looking at them now, you know that I'm older. I think some of the I think I don't think the acting was the worst bit. I just think the stuff they were given to work with was brutal. Some of the some of the dialogue. Yeah, it's, and so I did. I did. It was nice. Of, it was a little nice of an origin story. But now that Disney is going to be doing Star Wars seven, eight, and nine, I'm a bit more than ticked off. I don't know though. Disney, they might do a good job. I mean, didn't they do the Avengers? They were kind of behind the Avengers. Yeah. That's just mm, because... That's considered that. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, no. Disney owns Marvel and DC. They just... Uh, the thing is with them, they uh, they own Marvel and DC. But um, they kind of let them do their own thing. Ah, right. Damn it. Friggin but then I think they have J.J. Abrams is supposed to be writing us. Yeah, didn't he do Star Trek? And he's pretty good. Didn't he did, actually. I saw, the fr I saw that a while back. I thought it was good. Hey, look on the bright side. They still have John Williams composing the soundtrack. Shoot him in the back. Kill him. Right. The thing I love about glass oh, surfaces, uh, glass surfaces in this game, you can shoot straight through them. Oh, brilliant! Like I can honestly. I guess like, it's smashing. 
honest, I, I, will sh I will show you like an instance that occurs later in this, where you can just shoot a guy who's just standing right there through a window. The window doesn't break and the bullet hits him. And it's freaking awesome. I uh, guess it's a glitch. It's, just... it's like... It's a scientist, but it's not Dr. Doak who we have to find. Oh, isn't he the dude you shot the last time just because you could? Yes, I'm gonna shoot him again, then I'm also gonna shoot this other guy. I, I want to kind of pass the mission. Hey, free ammo. Too bad we don't get grenades in this. That would be badass. Actually, we do get grenades, but it's rarely rare. Like, occasionally, uh, one really? of the soldiers will drop them. And if we're doing that, you get to say the grenades are good for you. Ha! He's like, grenades! They're good for you! But you gotta say it in a Tristan Taylor well, voice. Well, if you're throwing them the other direction. No, do it in like a Tristan Taylor voice. Take a grenade! It's good for you! Hey, voice! That's me, spit grenades! Actually, isn't there a total clusterfuck in this, in this particular, um, part that lets you, um, that a grenade would be useful for? Exactly now. I think I just remember last time, you know, you were stuck in this narrow corridor and there were about five or six guards trying oh, to kill yeah. you. And I was... I thought a grenade was really useful there. Yeah, we, we were trying to save state and it was, uh, that was fun. Let's try not to let that happen again. Yeah, as you would say, that's a fuckity bad place to save. What a fuckity time. I think it was here, was it? Can't you see there's more than ten of them? <laughs> ten. It's like ten people. I can take ten people in Battlefront easily. See, look, this is how you do it. See, they're gonna come out one by one, and you shoot them. In the face. Uh, there, take your bu It's like, your doctor prescribed you some bullets. Here they are. Take one with each meal. Take one with each daily dose of... Okay, wait, no. No, I don't need those. I don't need the mines yet. Hold on. We're out of bullets. This is a fuckity time. Well, to then you do guns. what any man would do and punch him with your fists. Fuckity time to switch guns. Oh, some, some body armor. Can use that. No, something that um that not too many really, not too many people actually know about. They actually made a version of Grand Theft Auto for um for the uh, Game Boy Advance, which is really weird. Really? Because you're looking at it from a bird's eye view. Oh look, there's Dr. Doak. Alright, give me the freaking Talk decoder. To him. Give me the decoder. We gotta wait for the achievement to pop up before we can kill him. Okay, hold Show on. Show no mercy. Show no mercy. God damn it, we... Wait. It doesn't say we have to meet him. Yes! That was close. It's like, whew, that was a close one. It was a close one! Hey, have some bullets! You know what the first joke ever in comic history was? What? There was, um... The Victorians wrote a comic. I think it was called Comic Shorts. And the first ever joke... In a comic. A guy throws a dart. Another guy dodges us. What did he say? That was an arrow escape. Boo! Sucks. You suck. It's like puns aren't funny anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. Puns are like so 17th century. Oh bugger. That's a lot. Oh come on! I'm trying to open the friggin' door. They close it again. And just wait for him to run into the bullets. Eh, just headbutt my bullets. Headbutt my bullets. Thank you. Oh, what the, f what the fuck did you- Whose vagina did you crawl out of? <laughs> Your mamas! Oh, uh, hell no! That, that's actually one I'm gonna- That's actually one I use when, like, a random guy pops behind me in Battlefront. I'm like, whose vagina did you crawl out of? You know, if you were the rebels and he was a stormtrooper, or that he was a, Sorry, if you were a droid, 
and he was a Republic soldier, that'd be pretty awkward. Because he didn't crawl out of anyone's vagina. He got cloned. You've been cloned, sir. Ooh. Jeez, it'd be even worse if you were the Republic. Whose vagina did you pop out of? Sir, I am a droid. Ooh. That must be painful for your mama. Did you shoot him in the nets? Aw, oh, man. People don't... Alright, see, watch this. Hold on. If I can... Please, let there be ammo for... Ah, there's no ammo for my pistol. Okay, hold on. Watch, I'm gonna shoot this guy through a window. And the window didn't even... Nice! Magic. It's like when I don't feel like explaining anything. Magic. Magic. Magic? We don't need no fucking magic. Well, it certainly helps. Yeah, it does, actually. It does in Jade Empire. Oops. It probably would, if I knew how to use it. Damn or it. anybody knew how to use it. I just shot 006 on accident. Wait. 006? Yes. Well, he was, he, he was played by Sean Bean. What did you expect? Yes, but I accidentally shot him. And I didn't want to shoot him. Well, he was gonna die anyway. Well, I got his I gun. I feel bad. Well, I got his gun. Great. So, in essence, you fucked over the plot. No, I just... In essence, I just fucked over this level. Oh, well, we'll just go ahead and ah. blow up everything. Finish the level. Ah, shit, people. Run for your fucking life! Where the fuck are we going? <laughs> You're running to your death. Open the doors, yes. Okay, let's see what we do. Well done. Okay, yeah, we failed the mission. Fuck! Well, technically you did rendezvous with him, you just Accidentally shot, shot him. him. So yeah, that was trace awkward. Not uh, entirely. Wait, did we save state at all? No. Bollocks. Well, I think I do still have that save state from uh, when we faced all those guys. You want to go back and relive that? <laughs> You're not serious. I'm not. Thank God. This, and, and, and just because of one thing, I actually I just thought of one thing, you know, I'm playing the uh, Empire um, part in the, uh, in the, um, thing, um, in Star, um, Battlefront, and it's like, oh yeah, I don't have Stormtrooper aim, so I'm like, the oh, fuck, okay, so we're redoing this is historically level. inaccurate, I'm, it's like, it's like, oh my god, it's that one Stormtrooper who's actually accurate and can do shit on the battlefield, me. I'll take that as a compliment. And so you should. Let's face it, stormtroopers can't shoot for shit. They and fire at the ground, they miss. The same thing with the guys in like the G.I. Joe cartoon. They can't shoot worth shit. I've never seen that. I'm like, how the fuck are you... And it's like, actually I saw this hilarious thing, um... It wasn't a couple, um, a couple of months ago. It's like... Um, bad guys aim when facing secondary characters, and it shows like a bad one bad guy like shooting the secondary character in the face. It's like bad guys aim. <laughs> bad guys aim when facing main character. It shows a ba one bad guy, one gun, and he's missing. He's missing at least ten times. And if he does hit him, it just grazes the side of his face. Either that or you're like Mel Gibson and you actually do die in your own movie. Wait, what? Yeah, Mel Gibson, um, did you ever see Edge of Darkness? No, I haven't actually. He actually, um, he dies at the end of the movie. Spoilers. No! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Wasn't even that film Apocalypto as well? Pop what? Apocalypto. Uh, I don't the one about the Aztecs? Or I'm the Mayans? I'm not sure. I just think he was in the Patriot as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. That was like his. That's what actually he's. Mo so, honest. 
Honestly, I like him in, um... Well, I don't like him in Brave... Well, he actually did a pretty good job in Braveheart. As a yeah, he was historically inaccurate as buggery, but still, yeah. They never take a freedom! Hell, I can't even do a proper, you know, Scottish accent. Uh, nobody can. That's just Scottish. I actually do know a Scotsman who lives in my, um... He's from, proper from Sc Scotland. Scotland. Yeah, Scotland. And he's, you know, actually does... He's like... Whenever he greets me, he's like, hey, babe, how are you? I'm like, yes. <laughs> but for some reason, after I finish talking to him, like, for at least 30 minutes afterwards, I talk in a British accent for no reason whatsoever. I'm like, what the fuck just happened to me? Hello. It's funny you should mention that, because I was on, I was on Facebook last night, and a fellow, fellow put something on my wall. It was that one of those Rage comics? Let me watching Doctor Who. Let me after watching Doctor Who. That was a jolly good episode. Wait, why am I speaking with a British accent? Bollocks! I, I really do. I and I really enjoy Doctor Who. It's a pretty good show. I've never seen it. Now I've seen bits of it. I mean, I I have like I had like Netflix, so I like catch up on all the episodes. You just. But my favorite thing is uh, David. They have this meme with David Tennant. It's basically um, from that episode, uh, from an episode where he has to like help someone, and it's like, "You just watch two episodes of Doctor Who in one night. That's never meant to happen." <laughs> That's never meant to happen. I think I've heard that one before. It's like you just finished an entire game in one night. That's never meant to happen. So I, did I think you got the tone about right there, actually. Actually, um, in that, in like the original um, Star Wars Battlefront 2, I actually did finish like the entire 501st campaign in like one afternoon. I was like really, really wow. bored. I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever actually finished the 501st campaign without cheats. Yeah, me too. Actually, I had to use the invincibility and infinite ammo cheats. Oh god, that was a disturbing face, a close-up. Yeah, it's like, hello, I'm up in your face. I'm up in your grill. Since we don't oh, geez, that was even worse. Since we actually don't need to go see Dr. Doak, we can, um, wait, hold on, do we? Need to check my save screen. Uh, gain entrance to the laboratory area, rendezvous with 006, destroy all tanks, minimize scientist casualties. Yeah, we don't need to go see him, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this door. Do, 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 can't touch this. Do, 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 Oh yeah, I remember that. Can't remember how it goes. Look down, look down. Don't go shoot them in the... I forgot how it goes, too. That's it. Look down, look down. You're here until you die. Well, not really. You're here until you finish the level. Okay, it doesn't sound as cool now. Well, he's... He... Hey, they're here until they die. Alright, watch this, I'm gonna shoot this guy through the window. Ah, damn it, I'm out of bullets for the pistol. Eh, too lazy. What? Pistols oh. are for pussies, my friend. We prefer to use AK-47. Okay, fra okay, Fraps is starting to, I think, play with the gameplay a little bit. And this is the only reason I'm saying so. In, like, some areas it's slow, other areas it's, like, fast. Fuck. Alright. For England, James! No. How about, uh... Alright. <laughs> it was too easy, Alex. You know he actually played somebody... Oh, sorry. I'm just... Yeah. I'm, re too I'm reading easy. the dialogue, sorry. Come on, Alec. Oh, no, no, no. I did, I did. 
It's like, Trevelyan, get your ass over here. Come on, come on. Damn it, Sean Bean. And he just died. <laughs> he just ran into the explosion. And Does this mean you failed the mission? No, I don't think so. Hold on. Better not be. Alright, please don't say we failed the mission. Okay, we got the uh, cutscene, so I don't think we did. Please don't. I would have laughed. <laughs> oh, Sean. Yes, we completed it. I was you, Sharp, was a mad bastard. Alright, so, you know what we're just gonna save here? We're gonna stop here. This has been Garvity Fan Man 1 and Red of Asgarnia. Red of Asgarnia! And we are signing off. Because. <laughs>